How's it going guys? Taskword again. Um, I'm firing loads of them right now, I know. But uh, if something plays on my mind, if something comes up, I feel the need to talk about it. And who better to talk about it with them? You guys. So uh, thanks again for tuning in and watching. Um, you know, Listen to more of my bullshit, but there we go. Um, one thing that's been playing on my mind, right? And uh, it was before we'd made any signings at all. Obviously, um, some of the players we retained because of the fact they were on two-year contracts. Struggle genius, by the way, with some of them, you know, having Labadee as a great captain, etc., etc. But um, moving on to the one bit of business that really, really, well, disappointed us, of course. Um, Alex Samuel, right? It's, it's about him. I'm not going to beat around the bush on that. It's about Alex Samuel. It disappointed us, but then with some, it didn't overly disappoint because his scoring record wasn't great. Hey, look. He was a constant threat. He was always a threat. He played a massive part in in the whole thing. Obviously, he won the penalty at Morgan, for example, and um, always caused defences problems, always bullied defences, always got the better of people. So what a signing he could have been, especially when a lot of people spoke to him after the Notts County game. And he was adamant that he was going to talk to the club about signing with us. Um, word that I had is that his agent's phone was switched off the day that he went for well, went to Stevenage, and that day we were trying to get hold of that agent to say, look, we want to we want to get the chance to talk with him. Um, it was, like I say, disappointing and a bit weird for my liking. I mean, Stevenage for me are not a bigger club than us. I mean, yeah. They got their own grain. They got a better staff um, sort of uh, structure. But they've had longer in the football league than us, and they've had obviously a couple of seasons in League One um, beforehand. So, yeah, okay. So, I think as far as supporter base, as far as pretty much anything else, um, and potential of of where they can climb, they're not a bigger club than us. Um, they were at the right end of the table, but they missed out. Um, obviously, they've been missing out for a couple of years. They tend to find that teams who do well, well at the top end of the table and don't snatch that chance tend to come tumbling back. So, for me, Stevenage, if they keep all of their good players, of course, they're going to do well, and especially with Alex Samuel. But for me, it was just something not quite right about it, especially when he'd done what he'd done with us. And for, for just a few days later, he signed for another club after Swansea had agreed to let him go. It didn't even give us the chance to talk to him. And after speaking, to him, I was one of the people who spoke to him. And I was stood next to Simon Sadler and him. And I, and I turned around and said, is he is he giving you a contract yet? He went, oh, no, no, no. And I said, Simon, do the business, mate, come on. He said, oh, don't worry, don't worry, we'll sort something. Well, well I, I don't know his exact words, but it must have been along those lines. There's a lot of things that are a little bit cloudy from that day, of course. But basically, I can't understand why, just days after doing what he did with us, he decided to sign for another League Two club. It means he got to come and play against us now next season, twice. Uh, like I say, I can't make sense of it. I understand if it was for one of the top teams, you know, um, or even a League One team, which he would be more than capable of securing a signing, you know, securing a, uh, a contract with a League One team, more than capable. And um, you, you know, you've got the, the top end teams in League Two now are going to be like your Colchester's, your Swindon's, um, Chesterfield, even, um, and Luton, even as well. And clubs like Ah. Would have, would have, for me, got a really good signing in Alex Samuel, which is why it's disappointing because of how good of a signing he could have been for us. Um, at the end of the day, yeah, his scoring record wasn't great, but he did a lot of damage. You know, when it came, when it came to breaking down defenses, and 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 I keep repeating myself on this now because something doesn't seem right about it. Um, think now. What's the link between Alex Samuel and Stevenage that isn't at our club? I know Alex, uh, the new CEO, um, former secretary, now CEO. Well, congratulations, Alex, on that, by the way. Um, it's not going to be him or, or anything else or any of the other staff at the club. Think of the one link between Alex Samuel and Stevenage. 
Graham Wesley. What a perfect way for that wanker, sorry about the French, but I'm, I'm only speaking the truth really, that's what he is, well, for that person to really stick it to us, because for me, us saving ourselves was our way of sticking it to him and telling him that you're, you're not the person you think you are, you're not the manager you think you are, you're not the football brain you think you are. Michael Flynn just took over your squad and wiped the floor with you and kept us in the Football League. he done something that Graham Wesley would never, ever have even dreamed of being able to do. If we'd kept Wesley, we would have gone down. No, make no mistake about it. We would have gone down with Wesley. So I'd imagine there's a lot of sour grapes. His ego was hurt, and I don't think he would have liked that. And what's one of the ways he could really stick it to us? One of the best signings we could we could have secured in the summer would have been Alex Samuel. So why not give him a call and say, hey, how, how about I, I get you to talk to someone down Stevenage? He calls Stevenage, offer this kid as much money as you can because he's going to be a player for you. And i tell you something, next season he is going to be a player for them. Hey, look, what I'm saying is, is assumption. It's pure assumption, but it's an educated assumption on what I believe may have happened with Alex Samuel going to Stevenage. Because nothing else makes sense to me. Alex Samuel going to Stevenage, his agent turning off his phone so he didn't get the chance to talk to him. At the end of the day, if Alex Samuel secures a big contract and, and, and obviously there comes a nice agent fee in with that, you know, his agent is going to right, show me the money. Turn off my phone. You're not speaking to anybody else. That's if you even told Alex that. Come on, we're going out to Stevenage. They've got a really good deal to offer you. They offer him much more than he would have even expected even to sign for us. Oh, yeah, we'll sign that. Agent, or oh, we had any offers any anywhere else? No, no. This is your this is your only offer. May as well take it. You know, get myself in, get get myself my contract early. Understand from Alex's side, uh, you know how that could have been a chain of events, and that is the only chain of events for me that makes any sense. Because I tell you what, this has bugged me all summer so far. This has really, really bugged me. So I don't know. I mean, what makes sense for you guys? What what do you think happened? With this, with Alex Samuel, what what do you think was it would be your best guess as to how he's just gone and signed for Steven his days after securing um, football league status for us? See, it doesn't make any sense. And I say, what a player he would he would have been, you know, if we'd have got that twenty goal a season striker, what a player to play off him, you know, what an inside forward with Rig on the one side, Samuel on the other, with your with your big man up front who's going to score you your goals and the midfield we got and the defence we got, we'd have been a force next season with that player. Right? I don't care what his goal scoring record was. His his performance record was through the roof as far as I'm concerned and his effort level even further through the roof. So, you know, that would have done me nicely. Oh, and by the way, Wales, good performance tonight. But anyway, Alex Samuel, a real opportunity missed and I feel as though that was uh, Graham Wesley's last laugh in my opinion. But what do you guys think? Thanks for watching again. And oh, just to let you know, guys, still haven't got a sponsor yet. And if you know a business uh, business person, if you are a business person, and um, you know you want some advertising, and um, I'm not exactly going to expect a lot. To just a, just just a few quid to throw into the Amarami coffers. You know, uh, send an email or send a message on here, or if you've got me on Facebook, get in touch, guys, please, because um, you know. The more money we've got, the more we can do for the club ourselves. And there's loads of ideas in our heads and um, lo loads of things in the pipeline. We just need the funding to do it. So uh, and thank you for those of you who signed up the Patreon. We're still looking for more. If anybody else feels as though they can offer anything, thank you again. And sorry to be on about the money again. I'm always on about money with you guys. So uh, I do apologise. You know, I'm not trying to rinse you all. But those who can give anything, you know, very much appreciate it. So... We're going to call time on that one, so thanks again for watching, and um, as always, up the county.